Hello again, we're back in the studio. Today I'm going to explain about how to fit a TS9205 door closer on the push side of the door. Some people call it figure 66 or with a parallel arm application. Let's go and see. Choosing the correct fitting instructions, the parallel arm or figure 66 fitting instructions always have a dotted line where the paper is folded to fit into the corner of the door and frame. The first fold is on the corner, fits like that. With that down, you then fold again all the way along the next line. Following the simple instructions on the paper, instruction one is to fix the paper on the door. Two is to fix the parallel arm bracket. Three is to fix the body and then connect the arm together. The fourth part of the instruction simply indicates how and where to alter the valves. You'll notice the fitting instructions are double handed, left and right. In this case, the door opens this way around. So we're going to fold the corner first and then fold the top line. That then tucks in to the edge where the door shuts, right in where the hinge is. Having tucked the instructions right in where the hinge is and up to the underside of the soffit, you can, add, you can fix this on with some low tack tape to hold it in the right place and it's ready for pilot drilling. Pilot drill the four holes shown. There for the body, and also drill Sometimes it's easier to open the door and pilot drill it with the door open slightly. That of course is after you've marked it in the right place. When you've completed your pilot drill, just pull the paperwork down and fasten to the door just below where the door closer will be fitted. This is ideal for future reference. Point number two states clearly to fit the parallel arm bracket. This is found in the arm box, complete with wood screws and metal screws. In this case, a wooden frame. Can be easier with the door open. Make sure it's firm and clear and straight. Point number three indicates take the body from the box, pull out the trim plate and fix on the door as per the instructions. Fix all fixings as per instructions. Insisting it's firm on the door. Next point is to take the arm from the box and separate the forearm from the secondary arm by removing the Allen key socket sets. 
service. And then pulling it apart. This you'll find it makes it quicker and easier to piece together. This is positioned then, this way around, on the door closer, and screwed together. You may find it easier to open the door. There's a socket set, and don't forget the Starlock washer. Go together to hold this on tight and firm. The arm fits neat and square on the door. This once again is more easily done with the door open. When it comes to fisting the secondary arm set, you'll notice it's not quite central. If you fit it this way around, with a little machine screw provided, you'll also find it easier to fit it with a hand screwdriver. This stops it from damaging the thread. Very simply, fits on that. Make sure it's square and neat. Tighten the screws. And that's ready to put it back together again. You may find it easier to open the door to put the Allen keys in, making sure they're tight. Having fixed the arm and adjusted it so that you're happy it finishes up parallel with the door frame in its closed position, you're then ready to adjust it for speed and latch. The first valve to adjust is the closing speed valve. That's this one. Turn it clockwise to reduce the speed and anti-clockwise to increase the speed. Check how the operation works. Open the door and let it go. Next valve to adjust is the latching speed. This will stop it from banging. Or if you have a latch on the door, likewise, turn it clockwise to increase and anti-clockwise to decrease. Let's see how it goes. That can be adjusted slightly. There's no need for it to bang ever. The next valve to adjust is the delayed action valve. This will slow it down from when it's wide open to before it closes properly. That can be adjusted to increase the delay is clockwise and decrease is anti-clockwise. Open the door fully and see. You'll notice it always creeps a little and then when it goes past that valve the normal closing and latching valves take over. The back check valve is this valve. It can be increased turning it clockwise or decreased. This is working on the opening cycle. As the door opens in a hurry, the back check will come into play. This causes a cushion. It stops the door from opening too quickly. It slows it down in its opening cycle. And then it returns on its normal valves. One thing to remember with the back check valve is you can't use that at the same time as the delayed action. It's the delayed action or back check valve. Never try both at the same time on the same door. When you're happy with the operation of the door closer, slide in the trim plate. A rubber grommet there will stop it from coming out. And fix on the cap. Alternatively, you can remove the cap, remove the pop out in the cover, and fix it on. 
This can then be secured with a screw on the top. Open the door and fix in the screw. This stops it from being removed and the valves adjusted unwittingly. There we have completed a TS9205 door closer fitted in parallel R applications. Complete with a 35 year guarantee.